Morning everybody, we're at uh, me Casa Culpa today at my, well, at my mum's house next door to mine. As you can see, this house has been built into a, a hill. So this, this one my, that's my property, this one my garden plot. So you can see that it's below ground level on that side um, and that side. Uh, there's an house being built on on here um, and over the last few years started to get issues with, with water coming in it's coming in at wall floor junction you can see it down there now this was built in 2001 started building in 2001 which was before I started doing waterproofing um, before I did my waterproofing exams, but I can remember a builder when he did it. And I can remember him putting the slab down, and I remember him putting a French drain in, and he, he didn't wrap it in uh, geotex membranes, and he put it above slab, uh, and I didn't know what about waterproofing then. And the system they used on outside, they put a retaining wall, but then they put, um, if, you look, if you look back at that other video that I did it, uh, at it on way to Shepley and I said that they painted that bitumen on walls and it were rippled well Bill did it his son I can remember seeing him doing it uh, well my sister's ex uh, ex-husband it was proper bell end like but um, I can remember he didn't do it right so he's got this system on now What's happening is, I mean, it's not sealed. I've just pulled all these out. It's the first time I've ever seen it like, but we at stack is here. Although this is not main problem with where water's coming in. But we at stack is, it's not sealed and it's left a brick out. So I don't know what's happening there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that. Um, and there's an issue here when they had garage, garage door put in, it's electric garage door. And when it rains, there's a slight slope there. And water's running in and pulling in this corner because it's not level in garage. Um, so there's a couple of things and water's gaining on that junction. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a, for now, I'm gonna put a fillet all the way around and that's them fillet. Um, and that, that'll at least stop water coming in as easy. Um, and in future, I think at, at some point we're going to have to put some kind of drainage system in, but it's a bigger job. But for now, I'm going to just put that in. See how we go with fill it. Um, might put a bit more in that. So it's not, I mean, it's not actually coming through a wall. It just seems to be wall floor junction. So I'm going to sort that out. Stop it pulling there. Uh, and that'll be all right for now, because it's, it's a garage. But they, do, they are storing stuff in here so uh, you don't want to be too wet and we have had a lot of rain but one of, one of the issues is while they've been building this I think this has probably had a bit to do with it um, there's no surface uh, drainage on at the minute at the top and what they've done is they've, they've cleared all all land to build and when they've cleared it they've cleared it right back down to um, to sandstone and clay and then they built up off at off at top, so they they built it up, compacted it down, compacted it down. And I think when waters, um, or surface water, when we had that heavy rain, it's 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 sort of come down. I think there's probably a few um, voids, and water's been pulling in voids as it's as it's percolated down, and that creates a head of water. So once you've got a void, depending on how big it is the weight of that water and pressure will push through little cracks and fissures and things um, and then because it because of how much of the water you've got and weight it can put some rate pressure through these little holes so there might be a bit of pressure on here because they've not got the surface water done I went up and there were, there were a lot of water um, on concrete slab so when they get their surface all their surface drainage in place, there'll not be as much uh, pressure on here, I don't think. Although, then saying that, we, I don't think that's that's matter. I think basically, drainage that when they built this, 
he didn't do it properly um, and it's like eight that's like eight out of ten builders now at minute and this is why they're failing because uh, waterproofing systems that they're putting on outside are not adequate they're being done by <coughs> builders laborers and builder himself uh, and it's not being installed right but what they're doing now they're saying that when you build these types of properties you've got to have two types of drainage so you've got to have a, um, a type a barrier system either on, well on outside and then you've got to have your type c system your drain system on inside um, and that's in case it, this, something like this happens after, before your 10 year insurance warranty happens water does come in if you've got a drainage system on the inside it'll go into the channel and then run out so that's uh that's me showing you his own job to, today because we've got like a spare day. So I thought, oh, come and get this done. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday while I do this fillet.